It's game on in this ukulele video. This is the battle of the ultimate, the best Hawaiian ukuleles in existence on this planet. Kamaka, Koloha, and Kanalea, the big three Ks of the ukulele world. Are you excited to finally know the difference between the three monsters of the ukulele world, the kamaka, the koloha, and the kanale. We're going to break these three down, and I need your help. I need you to leave some comments below. Tell me what you think of these, and uh, if you have one, if you want one, and then which one, which one is the best. But I do appreciate you being here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, turn on that bell notification. I know you're going to leave the comments below, and then show us a little love. Smash that like button if you're digging what we're doing. So, are you ready? No, let me repeat that. Are you ready to get down with this ultimate battle of the Hawaiian ukuleles? I know you are, so am I. So let's do it. Mmm, this is, mm, this is so exciting. Now, all these the Kamaka, that's right, the Kamaka and the Koloha, the Kanalea, they're all available for you at one place. The number one store, that's youcollectopros.com. It's actually store.youcollectopros.com. Youcollectopros.com is my instructional site. I'll talk to you about that later, but store.youcollectopros.com. And I'm going to start with the Kamaka out of respect for a company that's been in business for so long. <laughs> Over a hundred years making ukuleles. That is absolutely incredible. Now, let me just tell you a little bit about this, this competition here. Right? All three of these are the standard models of the Hawaiian version. So this Kamaka here, all right? The HF3. HF3. Uh, this is just their classic Koa tenor. We have the Koa Aloha KTM 00. That's their standard Koa tenor as well. And then we have the Kanalea K1T, their standard Koa tenor as well. All right, so we're going to keep it real even. Now, the only thing to keep in mind is that the strings are different on each one of these. The Kamaka has high G, the Kanalea has high G, and the Koa Aloha does as well. So are you ready? Are you ready? Let's dive into, we're going to start here with this Kamaka. Now, the Kamakas are new to my store. I'm real, very proud of that. It took me a long time to become a Kamaka dealer, so I'm very proud to have the Kamakas in my store. These are, these are the, this is their classic model, so it's nothing fancy, and it doesn't have rosette or a gloss. This has a nice satin finish on it. These are made in Hawaii. They've been making Hawaii ukulele since 1916. Can, is that incredible, 1916? Um, solid koa, sides, and back, and this is a tenor, as I mentioned, so you do have 17-inch scale, like this is slightly over 17 inches. They have the, just slightly under inch and a half nut width, but then, I mean, just the classic, classic Kamaka. And then these particular ones have the rosewood, okay? Kamaka does do other ones as well, so they have a little bit, each one steps up a little bit in wood, you changes some gloss, it has a little bit nicer figured koa, you can get into the, the ebony and stuff like that, but I wanted to, like I said, play evenly for this particular one. Don't worry, we're going to play all three of them together back to back, but this one, this is a Kamaka, the HF3, just by holding it and playing it, it's just incredible, I mean, mm, Kamaka. Yeah, like what they're doing here. So anyway, let me grab another one. Let me take you out a little bit more with this one, and then we'll grab another one. What did you think of the Kamaka? Show Kamaka a little love. Leave a comment below or smash that like button right now. All right, next up. The Koaloha KTM 00. Goosebumps. Mm. All right. If you know me through my videos, through my courses at youcollectopros.com, 
through my YouTube channel, through my Instagram, how you like the pros, through my Patreon page, whatever. Maybe you come to my live Q&As we do for all my premium members. But you know that I do most of my videos on Koloha, Koa Wood, Mango Wood. And I just grabbed the KTM Zeros. I didn't grab the Silver Anniversary, uh, the Red Label, the Black Labels, nothing. I just wanted to have the standard KTM Zero Zero. Uh, absolutely incredible. Let me play a little bit and then I'll dive into this thing. Do you already hear a difference between a Koloha and a Kamaka? If you do, leave that comment below. All right, this is made in Hawaii, 25 years making ukuleles. Started by Pops Koloha and absolutely incredible. So this is, this is just one I grabbed off the shelf. Beautiful, solid koa wood top here. Just right from my store, store.ucollectopros.com. I didn't play through them. I didn't try to get the best one with the wood. I just literally had a bunch. I grabbed this one because I was like, that one has a cool name. What is the name of it? wipe out. <laughs> we do name all the ukuleles at store.ukulelepros.com. I like the name, so I just grabbed this one. All right. Tenor size as well. Gloss finish, but still pretty plain, right? Not No no rosette, no binding, anything like that. Just solid koa made in Hawaii. Tenor scaling, 17 inches. Now, this one does have about the same nut width, just under inch and a half. You do, of course, have the koloha crown here, on this one. Now, this one has the ebony fretboard as opposed to the Kamaka, which has the rosewood. Okay. This one also has the low G, unwound low G on it. All right. Do you have a Koloha? Which one? <laughs> let me know. All right. Let me do some playing on this one. Now that low G does give you a little bit more of that low end sound, right? A little bit more of that depth to it. Um, but man, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna play all of them together. Don't worry, and I'm gonna give you my opinion on each one of them at the end. All right, so stick around. Um, but that was a Koloha. What do you think? Show Koloha a little love by smashing that like button. Oh yeah, you knew it was coming next to Kanalea. This is a K1T. Now I did grab a premium one. I didn't mean to, <laughs> didn't mean to, but I did grab a premium one. Now the only difference between the Select, the Deluxe and the Premium is just the level of wood grain they use. Essentially, they should all sound the same, but some of this Koa has a little bit more curl, a little bit prettier looking. But anyway, this is a K1T. This is their standard base model. This one, it does have, the high G on it, and this one uses the Acula strings. The Kamaka uses a Kamaka black nylon string. So Koaloha uses their Koaloha fluorocarbon string. So all different strings, and these are the Kila Nylon strings on this one. All right. Been in business, Koaloha, Kanalea, excuse me. <laughs> a lot of K's going on here. Been in business almost 25 years. They plant a Koa tree for every ukulele they sell, not only Kanalea, but also the Islander series as well. Great company, great people, great people do a lot with them as well. So uh, it's an honor to have them as well at my store, store.ucollectopros.com. All right, all solid coal wood. Like I mentioned, this one is a premium made in Hawaii. This one though is, is still pretty plain as far as, again, no rosette, no binding on this one. This one just does have a lot of curl on it. Now this does have the, the gloss finish on this particular one. This again is a tenor. Uh, it does have the 17 inch scale lengths as well. Uh, and then also this one has the ebony fretboard. And, and again, just about, hold on. Let's double check. <laughs> a lot of, lot of sizes going on. All right, so this one is, yeah, it's just about the same. It's just, a, just like slightly under an inch and a half 
nut width on this one. All right, so let's check it out. Let's check it out. All right, what did you think? Show sure, kind of lay a little love by leaving a comment and smashing that like button. All right, are you ready? Are you ready? We're gonna do the back-to-back -back playing now. I'm gonna play the same piece on all three instruments, and we're gonna splice in and out of all of them so you can really now hear the difference. Back, the back, the back. I already know what they all sound like. I'm so familiar with these brands, but I want you to hear the difference between the Kamaka, the Koloha, and the Kalei. And by the way, that's the order we're gonna do. Kamaka. Koloha, Kanalea. Kamaka, Koloha, Kanalea. Are you ready to get in this? Come on now. Use those ears because I want you to leave a comment below of what you hear the difference and which one you like as well. And then I'm going to go over the results or at least what I think at the end. All right, it's decision time right now. You have to leave a comment below. Was it the Kamaka, the Koloha, or the Kanale? All right, you want my thoughts? I know you do. First of all, they're all amazing. <laughs> I mean, they're all the best of the best. Hawaiian made, Koa wood, you know, years and years and years of experience making great instruments. And so they each one though, they all have their own feel, their own characteristic, their own vibe, their own style. You really need all of them. Store.ukrakethepros.com, I can make that dream come true. All right, but let's break into this. So the Kamaka. I mean, this screams Hawaiian tradition. I mean, been building since 1916. It has, it's just a really nice, clear, it's got a lot of clarity to the sound, a lot of brilliance to the sound, right? It's a nice tone. It's lush sounding. It's not too bassy. It's not too trebly. Okay. You do have the high G on it and you do have the black nylon strings. But what I, what I gather from this one is just, is that clarity. You just hear these notes. So crisp, so clean, so clearly here on a Kamaka. What do you think? Do you agree with me? Leave that comment below. All right, the Koloha. Now, the Koloha, I mean. Okay, low G on this one, unwound low G. Here's Koloha. I don't know why I get goosebumps. I don't know why. I know why, because it's, it's a love of ukuleles the sound, the feel, and doing these to help you out. All right, you're not gonna get a bigger sound than Koloha. I mean, these are, 
I mean, he's got the projection. He's got just got a big, lush sound to him. So, big sound, really nice and warm. Okay, that low G, excuse me, does help with that sound, but just this really lush. I really like the Koloha necks. It just feels really comfortable. Just really comfortable to play. Just the nice, the, the, the roundness of the neck. And I don't know, it's just something about the feel. So for me, this the big sound. You want a big, bold, <laughs> full sound. Really nice and comfortable, easy to play. Bam, the Koloha right here, KTM 00. What do you think? You agree with me on this? Leave that comment below. Now the Kanalea. Oh, the Kanalea. All right. It almost feels like a little bit like it's a, it's in the middle. The Kanalea. Now they do have the Nile gut strings on this one, and those these do have a particular sound to them. What I noticed with these Nile gut strings, they're kind of like a synthetic plastic. Is that they don't have um, they don't have quite the uh, projection as the other ones. So um, the strings do make a big difference, but anyway, these are what come on them and I want to keep these original. So if you notice, kind of lay it has that warmth to it. It's got that nice warmth sound to it. It's got that nice mid range, right? Nothing shrill. Nothing shrill about it. It does have a high G, but it doesn't have that like full projection like the Koaloha does. Um, and it doesn't have that clarity as much as the Kamaka because again, when you get into that, that warmth, that mid-range sound, it's not going to get that ear popping when you have like a little bit more of that high end, like the Kamaka has a little bit more of that clarity, right? So if you just notice, it's really a nice tight sound with the Kanalea. Mm, right there. What do you think? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? It doesn't matter. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Leave that comment below. What did you think? It's such an honor to have all three of these brands, the Kamaka, the Koloha, the Kanalea. They're all available at store.yukatapros.com, but I did this video for you so you can hear the difference. Which one should you get? All of them, of course. I've told you this. They all have their own style, their own characteristics. Until you have one, you get to play one, you get to hear them. You, then you really get to dive in to which one you really prefer and love. But I guarantee you'll love them all because they all have their own vibe and style to them. So anyway, I'm glad you were here. Appreciate all the comments, smashing that like button, subscribing, and just just being interested in loving ukulele, okay? If you want to connect with us more, you know how to do that. Ukulelepros.com for all your courses, the store, Patreon page, and over on Instagram, Ukulelepros. It's all Ukulelepros. <laughs> you can't miss us, Ukulelepros. Anyway, thanks so much. Take care. Be safe, and we'll see you next time.